Hi, my name is Dr. Russell Burke, and I'd like to tell you about my I Am Scientist project. I've been studying diamondback terrapins, like this lovely girl here, here in Jamaica Bay since 1998. Now, Jamaica Bay, as you can see behind me here, is part of New York City. It's managed by the National Park Service, and this part of it is called Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge. Jamaica Bay is made up of brackish water. The water you see here is a mixture of salt water and ocean water, and diamondback terrapins are the only American turtles that are adapted to live in conditions like this. Terrapins are special for a whole bunch of reasons. For one thing, they eat marine invertebrates, so uh, they eat snails and clams and things like that, and they have really powerful jaws for crunching them up. Another thing is that terrapins have temperature sex determination, which means that any egg can become either sex depending on what uh, temperature it's incubated at. This population's in trouble for two main reasons. One of them has to do with nesting. Every June and July, the terrapins come out of the bay and they come up in, uh, here on land and lay their eggs. Well, the raccoons know this very well too, and they move into this area at about the same time. As a result, we know that 95 to 98 percent of the nests that are laid get predated by the raccoons. When we see mother terrapins laying their eggs, we typically protect them with these nice nest cages. And as a result, we know at least some hatchlings make it to, to uh, uh, emerge. Now, uh, we do lots of other work on nesting ecology here as well, but I'm going to leave that for another day. I do want to point out, though, that uh, I have a large team of volunteers and students who help me with this project, and they all get to wear these cool t-shirts. The other big problem that terrapins are facing is the loss of the salt marshes that they need to live. Jamaica Bay has a whole variety of salt marshes scattered all over, some big, some small. Behind me you can see Black Bank North, and beyond that, Elders Point. Now, all the marshes of Jamaica Bay are falling apart and some fast, some slow. Nobody's really sure why. There are a lot of good people working on it and hopefully we'll have some solid answers soon. Behind me now you can see Yellow Bar Hassock, which is a marsh that's being reconstructed by the National Park Service and the Army Corps of Engineers and a bunch of other folks. So it is possible to rebuild some of these marshes, but it's expensive and it takes a long time. Okay, so now let's get to the crux of the problem here, the real problem here. I need to know what these terrapins are doing uh, when they're out in the water. Are they, as these marshes deteriorate, are the terrapins moving from dying marshes to, to younger marshes? Are they colonizing the new marshes as they're rebuilt? Are the terrapins sticking with an old marsh as it falls apart? Are they evenly spread among all the marshes, or are they all concentrated on a few? I need to know what these turtles are doing when they're in the water. And for a bunch of reasons, it's hard to track terrapins in the water. Fortunately, there are a bunch of new GPS and satellite technologies that I can use these days to track terrapins. And I have many options to choose from. Which one do I choose? Well, here's the core of my I Am Scientist project. To figure out which new tracking technology will work best, I need to know how often terrapins come to the surface and how long they stay there when they do. Some of these devices use solar panels to recharge their batteries. Some communicate with satellites. Some use GPS. All depend on being exposed to the air. And I don't know anything about terrapin surfacing behavior. Nobody does. I could spend a lot of money buying something that just won't work. To solve this problem, I need a bunch of these little things. These little things will record the, how deep the terrapins go for a full year. So what the support I'm asking for is to buy a bunch of these devices and the equipment to run them. I'll put them on the terrapins and retrieve them a year later. And with that year's worth of data, I will have all the information I need to avoid buying expensive technology that doesn't work. Well, that's my pitch. I hope you liked it.